Welcome to the new video. I am back on a bank and you join me on a very chilly morning in the Cotswolds. I'm up on the big lake. I'm um, doing a very short session up on the syndicate and um, it was actually my birthday yesterday so I've come up for a little bit of a birthday session to try and see if I can get one on the bank. Now um, it's very very early in the morning at the moment and you know what I could really do with a coffee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck on the kettle, get a coffee on the go and then I will talk you through what the plan of action is. If anything's happened, hint hint and um yeah we'll go from there so um let's go and get the kettle on and i'll catch up with you in a bit Well, what a uh, morning it's turned out to be. Absolutely blazing sun, lovely and bright and warm. Um, almost too warm, really, um, compared to what it was last night. But anyway, so I got here late last night. So yesterday was my birthday. Um, spent a day with a family, um, took the little one out to cow country in Gloucester or near Gloucester. Um, had a wicked day out, um, got home, and I just thought, you know what, I really want to get out fishing and try and have one for my birthday. Now, obviously, it was quite late by then. By the time I'd gone out in the garage, sorted out my kit, um, got on the road, um, I didn't get to the lake till about half past midnight. It was, it was late. So, not ideal, but it was a really clear night. Actually, really cold, to be fair. It's about 10 or 11 degrees. Um, clear sky. Uh, the, it was like a half moon, really, really bright. So, visibility was actually really good. And I stood in a car park just watched the water and I saw the rings of what looked like a fish just sort of nut out. So I thought, you know what, that'd do. Straight out of the car park, nice and easy. <laughs> I'm not gonna turn that down. So yeah, I, I fished this swim before with Hugh, the first session on here. So I had an idea of where I needed to be. So I literally just put the free rods out to that zone. Um, I've got them all on sort of hard hookers, but with plastic toppers. So they're snowmen basically. Um, just put a scatter in the bait out there, probably about 50 baits at the most of the um, 80 mil bug. Just scattered that out there and just thought that'd do. Um, opened a tin of cider, basically drank a tin of cider and then got in the bag. And um, you know what, I was strangely confident, really was strangely confident. I don't know if it was just because it was my birthday, I'd had a really nice day for my birthday and I was just in a really nice mood, but I just felt really confident. And I got in the bag, um, obviously nodded off pretty quickly because at that point it was probably about half one, two o'clock, I was shattered. And um, yeah, I had a bite, would you believe? Um, so middle rod, first light, absolute one toner on the middle rod. I'm fishing really tight clutches and it was just peeling line. I could not believe it. So jumped out, obviously picked a rod up, started playing it. Um, quite quickly, it just weeded itself and then it was almost just a case of just bringing in this big ball of weed. But I managed to bundle it all into the net and yeah, I had a carp, I had my birthday present. So um, I was absolutely chuffed. It is a mega, mega fish, like a very, very nice fish. And um, I managed to get a bit of video. I don't think it came out that well, but I got a bit of video. So uh, have a look at this. How about that for a birthday present? 26 pound or just over. Gorgeous, gorgeous linear. Absolutely made up for that. I don't think the camera's gonna focus properly. Unfortunately, the uh, wireless remote has run out of batteries or I think possibly got wet and stopped working. But what a result. That is a birthday present and a half. I've managed to get a couple of snaps of one side of her, which were in focus. Unfortunately, the remote has then stopped working. So uh, unfortunately, I don't wanna mess her around for too long, so. We're gonna slip her back, just thought I'd get a bit of video. But yeah, look at that fish. Absolute stunning creature. Old, lovely big pit, linear. That is an absolute stunning fish. There There's the other side then. I've got a feeling it's focusing on my face because it's on face mode. But 
I don't want to mess her around too much. She's a lovely fish, probably quite an old fish, and I want to get her back. But what an absolute result. Lovely birthday present, stunning fish, and tactics, swim choice, and everything's paid off. I'm absolutely buzzing. Lovely, lovely fish. Happy days. Oh. And on that note, I'm going to get her home. All right, all right. This is a rig that I had to fish on. As you can see, it's a snowman style setup. So I've got a hardened 18 mil bottom bait there, and that's the DNA bug. And then I've got a plastic topper there, which is probably a, a 15 miller. And that just balances that lovely, basically just sits like that on the bottom. So that acts as a bit of a sight for the fish to home in on, and it obviously worked. Then I've got my little Ronnie section, but I've got it tied direct to the swivel so there's not quite as much movement. Um, I also pulled a bead slightly further down because obviously this is a semi-buoyant rig and what that does is that makes that hook point a lot heavier. And then I've got about seven inches maybe, six, seven inches of ESP tungsten loaded, a couple of little weighted sinkers just to keep it all on the deck. And you might see I've got one quite close to the hook and that's because it just makes it heavier so it drops into the bottom of the fish's mouth easier. And then just got a leg clip arrangement, anti-tangle sleeve, and I'm using a heli lead. The reason for that is it's not got quite as much movement. So when a fish picks it up, it tends to hit that lead a little bit more quickly. And then just a um, extended sort of tail rubber because I'm fishing it naked style with the main line direct through to the leg clip. So nice and simple, but that is what I had that fish on. So I'm sure you'll agree what an absolute gem of a fish that was. I mean, I couldn't really have asked for better. You know, what a birthday present. So yeah, as you can imagine, I'm absolutely buzzing. And to top it off, I've seen another two fish show um, out in the zone. So I'm very, I'm very confident of another bite, which um, on here so far is um, has just not happened. So, you know, second fish at the venue, I'm, I think I'm six sessions in now, so I'm absolutely chuffed. And yeah, what what result? I'm sure you can imagine. You know, when you come out on your birthday or try and get one for your birthday, it is just such a buzz when you get one, and especially when it is an absolute stunning fish like that. It was, um, I think, it was twenty six pound ten, so a pretty good fish for the lake as well, to be honest. Um, but yeah, absolute lovely one. But anyway, I got a decent bit of time to go, so I'm obviously going to fish out in the morning especially now that I've seen a couple of shows. So I'm gonna finish off my coffee, watch the water, hopefully we'll have another bite, but if not, what an absolute result. Well, I've been watching the water for a few hours and I've actually just seen a fish show just um, round to my right hand side. And that's just given me a little bit of an idea of something I wanted to talk about. So I do mention it a lot about fish location, how location is key and it is. And a part of that is observations. So watching the water as much as you can. Now, as a videographer, content creator, um, actually watching the water is at a limit. It's, it's kind of limited sometimes because I'm obviously trying to capture what I'm doing. I'm trying to you know create content so i can't always have my eyes on the water but something really important is to do that so i would say if you're looking at fishing a venue like this or any venue really the most important thing you can do is have your eyes on the water as much as possible and just look and you never know what you're going to see because if you see something it can be that sort of piece to the puzzle I think I've said that before but it can be that piece to the puzzle that helps get that final picture which is obviously getting that bite and getting that fish now just as an example my first fish that I caught out of here was um, on my second session I believe it was and it was basically a morning session now the time that I came before then it might have been my third session the session I came before then, basically some guys had told me that a certain area produced bites in the morning. I turned up, didn't really see anything, dropped in that swim and ended up catching a bite um, and ended up catching a fish. So I basically just acted on information that I'd, I'd kind of been told already. 
Now today, I've obviously had a bite this morning, second fish from the venue, I've done six sessions now and had four blanks. Now those blanks are just information added into the picture to try and obviously build up to that next bite. And so the last time I was here, there were um, some guys fishing in this area and they'd actually been pre-baiting this zone out in front of here. Um, I don't know if they caught anything off of it, but they've been pre-baiting it. And so when I turned up, seen a fish roll, I thought, well, I can't ignore that. And to be fair, knowing that there's been some bait going in this area, there could well be more than just one fish knocking around. So obviously dropped in, I just put a scatter in the bait out, enough for a bite, and obviously it's happened. And it happened pretty quickly. You know, the rods are probably only out there three, four hours max, and I've had a bite. So it just goes to show like the information that you, you absorb, the things you see, is all building up to that bigger picture of potentially catching a fish. So it's just something to think about, you know, maybe make mental notes about stuff, you know, if you've got a good memory, uh, write stuff down in your phone, take a little notebook, something like that, but just try and absorb as much information as possible because that is probably going to be the best thing that's going to help you catch a fish. But anyway, um, I'm going to have a bit of a slow pack down now. I'm going to go and get a van and chuck it behind me and slowly pack down the kit, but um, hopefully we'll um, end up with another one before we go. <laughs> Right, that is the end of the video then. What an absolute mega result that was. Absolutely chuffed, wicked result. Um, I'm just doing this on my phone at the moment. So um, the um, microphone ran out of battery, so I've got it charged up at the moment. But I'm actually gonna head over to the other syndicate now, Fields up in Oxfordshire, and um, do a couple of nights on there. So fingers crossed the fish play ball and we'll have another mega video following this one. But I hope you did enjoy it. It was an absolute wicked result. Lovely fish, absolute banger of a fish i'm really chuffed with it and a nice little birthday present so yes hopefully you enjoyed it as well if you did give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel then please subscribe we upload every week on a month uh, on a tuesday normally around six o'clock so lots of plenty of content coming out and lots of stuff to watch through the month but um until next time get on the bank be lucky yourselves and i will see you next week mm -hmm.